What up, your boy MC Shadow. Uh, still in the southeast, right here, uh, putting it down now for the city of Whittier and all the Whittier writers on the southeast that be representing. Um, I have one more that's coming out for the southeast. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to make him fit all right here, but, it, you know, like I said, gang of neighborhoods out here in the southeast. Um, you know what I mean? But this is right here for the city of Whittier. So for all the Whittier writers right there representing for their neighborhood, uh, starting off with... It's a G-Light, swerving in a G-Ride Wu-Bang, homie, clutching on the 4-5 Don't ever slip, cause you do, boy, that lead flies Cause at the bottom, we stay hunting in that moonlight You hear the click, you hear the bang when we pass by This ain't a game fool, the riders really earn strife That's only gang fool for everyone that main line And it's a thin line, so homie, better act right We keep it active, really active up on this side You hear the whistle as they're throwing up their gas signs The crime rate in the hood always stays high Banging for the bottle, do try for the one time We stay posted, drinking until the sunrise, we stay posted, drink until the sunrise. Is that G life swerving in the G ride? Who bang homie clutching on that four five? Don't ever sit, cause you do, boy, that lead flies. Cause at the bottom, all right, starting off right here with Whittier 13. Now, Whittier is the oldest neighborhood out of the city of Whittier. Um, I seen from a documentary that it's been around since the uh, 1960s, uh, late 1960s, early 70s, you know, so por ahí. Um, is when their neighborhood started. Um, it is the oldest gang and the largest, you know, with the largest territory out of the city of Whittier. Um, you know, obviously Whittier, um, you know, you know, a lot of people have heard of the neighborhood now uh, due to uh, the rapper uh, Chino Grande and the Charlie Rocampo. Uh, you know, Chino Grande, that's where he's from. He's from Whittier 13, um, right here in the southeast. Uh, now, Whittier 13, Whittier 13, you can find them right there at uh, Adventures Park. Uh, so, through those uh, back ends, through uh, Lennox, uh, um, Howard Street, uh, Gun, um, Gun Avenue. Um, you know, it's where they can find, you know, um, their neighborhood. Now, um, I know this. Uh, people get this confused, but Southside Whittier, um, Whittier Barrio Locos, and all of that, they are not connected. They all claim the city of Whittier. Uh, but just like how it is in Compton, Pacoima, Linwood, um, and those cities where they claim the city in front of the title, but each neighborhood is their own individual neighborhood. So uh, I guess treses would be theirs. You know what I mean? So treses for one, hustlers for the other, uh, barrio locos for the other, uh, and um, south sides for the other one. You know what I mean? So uh, that's pretty much how, how it goes for the Whittier neighborhoods. Um, you know, but yeah, and they and they definitely don't get along with each other. You know what I mean? They do not like each other. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, Whittier 13 is the oldest, the original one, and the biggest. Um, you know, and you can find them right here uh, doing their thing. You know what I mean? Here you have Whittier Barrio Locos. Now, Whittier Barrio Locos is the next oldest. Been around since the 80s. Uh, so, late 70s, early 80s. Um, they deep as well. You know what I mean? Uh right here uh, in the city of Whittier they be definitely handling business uh, you can find them by Broadway Park so through those back ends is where you can find their neighborhood you know what I mean uh, right there putting it down um, shit they, they with the business you know like they, they live up to their name you know Barrio Loco so you know what I mean they be like I said on Broadway Park through those back ends right there representing and handling business you know going at it with the surrounding neighborhoods right there shout out to the homie Speedy from Barrio Locos and shout out to the homie Snapper from Whittier Barrio Locos Two down firme camaradas. I know for sure they definitely be putting it down for their neighborhood. Um, yeah, shout out to the homies from Whittier Vital Locals that be representing. Now, here you have WM, which stands for Wicked Marijuanos. Now, it's one of those neighborhoods where I can't confirm that it's a 1 3, but that's how they write it. They write 1 3, but I can't confirm if it's a 1 3. They used to be a tagging crew. Um, you know what I mean? Um, but now they be writing 1 3, so you know what I mean? So, nonetheless, uh, that's who they be. Uh, they be right here on Greenleaf. is their neighborhood. Right here on Whittier. You know, on the uptown. Um, yeah, man. And uh, they be right here representing for their neighborhood. Um, holding it down for their side. You know, so so that's who that's who they be. You know, WM, you know, Wicked Marijuanos. Here you have Southside Whittier. Now, Southside Whittier, you can find them right here by Amelia uh, Mayberry Park. Um, that's where their neighborhood's at. They, you know, you could normally find them chilling right there, posted at the parque. Um, you know what I mean? But, you know, uh, they, you know, they threw out, you know, uh, Southside Whittier. Uh, you know, you can find them through those back ends. Uh, shit, you can even find them a little bit towards already, uh, Whittier's neighborhood, like by Gun Avenue as well. Um, 
You know what I mean? But yeah, that's who uh, Southside Whittier is. Like I said, they all, it's not the same as Whittier 13. You know, so it's not because it's on different locations because uh, they they definitely don't get along. Um, this is their own neighborhood, so you know. But yeah, that's you know they've been around since. Um, now they're not as old as uh, Whittier 13 and everything like that. They came a little bit. Uh, uh, later, you know, like late 80s, early 90s is where their neighborhood came out. But hey, nonetheless, man, they definitely be uh, holding it down for their neighborhood, representing for their side and uh, putting it on the map, you know. So, yeah, that's what Southside Whittier 3 is, uh, you know. So, you know, shout out to the homies from Southside that be, you know, right there representing for the Southside, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Orale. Now, here you have Whittier Dead End Locos. Now, Dead End Locos is more on the outskirts of Whittier. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you can find them through uh, Western and Havenwood uh, by Rose Hedge. Uh, so throughout those back ends is where you can find uh, Whittier uh, Dead End Locos or, you know, Dead End Locos. You know what I mean? Uh, now, Dead End Locos definitely uh, be representing for the neighborhood. Uh, shit, I got banged on them a few times by them. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the Dead Ends definitely be right there representing for their neighborhood, um, holding it down for their set. You know what I mean? Uh, you know? And uh, going at it with, like, the surrounding neighborhoods around there uh, because uh, their neighborhood is so close to, like, uh, Quiet Village, Los Nietos, uh, Cantarana, you know, like, through those ends, you know, like, so, you know, it'd it be hot right there, you know what I mean? And they definitely be representing right there for their neighborhood. Uh, shout out to the homie Payaso from Dead End Locos and shout out to the homie Diablo from Dead End Locos. Here we have Quiet Village. Now, Quiet Village is a neighborhood that's right there on the outskirts of Whittier. Uh, they've been around since the 80s, pretty large in size, you know, they, 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 you know, you can find them right there representing on uh, what's between Norwalk and, and Pioneer Boulevard, but like by Redmond and Murillo Avenue and, and uh, you know, by those ends of, you know, Whittier uh, is, is where their neighborhood's at. Um, now, they quite, you know, they call it Quiet Village, you know, because it's over there, you know, uh, it's pretty peaceful, you know what I mean? But like I said before, uh, don't let the looks deceive you because, you know, that neighbor is definitely with the business, you know, underneath, you know, in tunnels, they be handling business right there uh, and representing for, for their neighborhood, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to the homie Sleepy from Quiet Village. That was a firme camarada right there. You know, homie has a really good head on his shoulders and shout out to all the homies from Quiet Village that be holding it down for their neighborhood. Now here we have uh, Whittier Hustlers. Now Whittier Hustlers, WH13, used to be a tagging crew. Uh, so I can't confirm if it's a 1-3, but that's what they write. Uh, so they're a new neighborhood. Uh, uh, been around since the 90s, but in the neighborhood scene uh, since the 2000s. Um, now Whittier Hustlers, um, now for them, they right there on Greenleaf. Uh, you know, it, it, um, their neighborhood is like right there on Greenleaf, uh, kind of like, uh, where, um, going at it with like Brown Brotherhood, uh, cause they're, you know, they're close by right there in Greenleaf, uh, uh also Wicked Marijuanos is right there, um, you know, kind of like took a piece of, uh, Whittier, cause all of that area used to be, uh, now, here we have Whittier Village, WV13. Now, they used to be a tagging crew. They used to stand for Wicked Vandals. Uh, by was no, their bike were, was known as the Whittier Village, so by the high school. Um, so, they used to be Wicked uh, Vandals. Now, they stand for Whittier Village. Um, they're a roughly small neighborhood. Uh, roughly new since the 2000s. Um, you know, and... Um, you know, so they... They... I can't confirm if it's a 1-3, because I know they used to be a tank crew, so I can't confirm if it's a 1-3, but that's what they write now, and uh, yeah, that's who they be right there representing, you know what I mean? Here we have Headhunters. Headhunters is the same one as the one in West LA. They have a clique over here in Whittier, pretty large set over here. Um, they be putting it down, man. They're pretty deep over here. Uh, you can find them through Penn Park, through Franklin and Valley View. Uh, that's the heart of their neighborhood where they be at, posted. Uh, yeah, they've been right here for Whittier since... Um, since the late 90s, early 2000s, holding it down for their neighborhood. Um, they with the business and definitely be um, putting in work out here. Um, I should know the homie Termite from my rap label. That's the click where he's from. So shout out to the homies from Whittier. Now here we have Brown Brotherhood. Now Brown Brotherhood used to be a tagging crew that became a neighborhood, uh, BBH. Uh, they were around since the 90s, but in the neighborhood scene, uh, early 2000s, I can't confirm if it's a neighborhood, but that's what they be writing. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, 
So they're right here putting it down for the southeast, uh, right here in the outskirts. So you can find their neighborhood, um, you know, through uh, Santa Fe, uh, Santa Fe Spring, you know, Santa Fe Spring and what's uh, Greenleaf. So what's in between, you know, like on on um, on uh, Flowmore Drive, you know, so through those back ends, you know, on Pit, uh, Pitnam Street, uh, Colton Street, you know, like. You know, through those back ends is where you can find their neighborhood. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're roughly small, you know. Like I said, they used to be a tanking crew, so, you know, they haven't been around for a long time. So, you know, they're small in numbers. But nonetheless, man, uh, you know, they be holding it down right there through those back ends. You know, even though it looks like a nice area, man. Uh, they be representing for the neighborhood, you know what I mean? Uh, the Browners gangs, you know, como dice, you know, Brown Brotherhood. But, yeah, that's what's up with, uh, you know, BBH. Now here you have Insane Guaynos. Now Insane Guaynos is more of a neighborhood that's in Montebello, uh, but they also are out here scattered through the southeast, almost by Jardins neighborhood Pico. Um, you can find them spread out through that area. Um, also close to Whittier. Uh, that's why I put I decided to put them right here in the southeast portion. Um, you know, because even though it's like by Montebello, it's already uh, right here heading to the southeast. Um, you know. And yeah, clashing with all the neighborhoods over here. So, you know, when you see uh, IWS, uh, that's what it stands for, Insane Winos. Now, Insane Winos used to be a neighborhood, but they be, uh, they used to be a tank crew that became a neighborhood. Um, you know, um, so they're roughly small, but nonetheless, man, they with it and they with the business and they be handling, you know, their shit right there, you know, having to do what they got to do, you know what I mean, to represent for their neighborhood. And that's what's up, you know. Um, yeah, but that's who, you know, I dubs is, you know what I mean? Now here we have night crawlers. Night crawlers is right here throughout the southeast. You can find them spread out through, you know, throughout uh, the whole southeast. You know, so by Artesia, by Norwalk, uh, by Santa Fe. You know, going at it with all the neighborhoods out here. Um, you know, so they don't really have a specific location just because they like to post up like wherever they at. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes by the Artesia Park, sometimes by Norwalk, sometimes by Santa Fe. You know what I mean? So. Uh, and they are, I, I know people say that they're not the same as the ones from South Central, but I was told that they are the same ones from South Central. Um, you know, that it's all the same thing, uh, just different areas, different homies move and, you know, different, you know, start recruitment over there and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, so Nightcrawlers is, you know, so I guess the time frame will be the same one as the one from, uh, uh, South Central. So it'll be, uh, er, um, early nineties, um, and, you know, and. You know, spreading, you know, grow. They they weren't um, a big neighborhood before, but, you know, they're getting larger and larger. But, yeah, that's what Nightcrawlers be, you know what I mean? Okay, you have Vicky's Town. Now, Vicky's Town is the same one as the one from East LA. They got a click out here in the southeast. Uh, roughly small, but nonetheless, you know, this is where they be representing. You can find them right here in the southeast by River Road and um, uh, uh, Scabble Avenue uh, by Western Avenue and Walnut Street uh, by those outskirts. Um, also on Nan Street, you know what I mean, and Wigman Street, uh, but that's where their neighborhood's at, um, you know, it's a smaller, you know, branch up for them, but nonetheless, you know, that's Vicky's Town, uh, right here in the southeast, representing for their side, you know what I mean?